how can you use your local park run to increase your efficiency on race day? Watch on to find out. Hey, how's it going? You're watching Iron Will, your place to find tips, tricks, and experience in triathlon, multi-sport, and endurance events and training. If you're lucky enough to be somewhere close to where a park run is being run, this can be a great opportunity for you to get some race day practice. For those that may not be familiar with park run, park run is a free weekly timed event, so a 5k run that follows a set course each week, and they are all around the world. So the way they work is you register online. Um, so you can get a park run ID and then you print off the barcode, turn up to a run, they go through the race briefing, they tell you what the course is like, then you do the run so they get you all at the start line, they do three, two, one, go, and then you all run the course. Uh, at the finish line, they'll have an actual finish line so you'll go across the line, they'll time you, then they'll give you a tag, you go up, you scan the tag, you scan your barcode, any time gets registered online. It's completely run by volunteers, so everyone at the park run is a volunteer, no one's getting paid. And once you've done a couple, it's highly recommended that you volunteer as well. I volunteered a few weeks ago, I was there, and since I've got this lovely camera, I took photos. And if you haven't gotten into park run, then it's a great opportunity. Uh, park run is awesome at getting people into running. So many people that I know have used park run as a platform to start running to achieve goals, get themselves to half marathons, even full marathons. So it makes sense to practice your race day preparation every week so that when you come to a paid race, that your race day will go as smoothly as possible. One thing especially for me, I've found uh, having race day every week lowers my level of nervousness. So when I first started doing park run, I was quite nervous. Uh, but doing it over and over again reduced that nervousness and that's flowed through into other events that I've been doing. I, especially running races, that sort of thing, just find myself less nervous than I would be if I hadn't practiced it each week. And that's the key to it, is the more you practice, the better you will get at it. And while I, I still get nervous for events, and I still get nervous even for parkrun, but that shows like when you have nervousness about an event, that shows that you are passionate about that thing. But if your nervousness does get too high, it can impact on your race and maybe even cause you to pull out of the race. So practicing race day and getting that nervousness out of your system as much as possible so you're as comfortable as possible with races is really useful. There's also race preparation and race gear. So having to prepare for a run every week means that you'll get used to what you need to have on you for a race. So do you need your running gear, shirt, pants, shorts, shoes, socks, all that sort of thing. Also your race watch, heart rate monitor, um, do you want to bring sunglasses? Do you run with sunglasses? Do you run with a visor? Also allowing you to prepare so each week for park run you do need to bring your park run ID with you. That's a little bit like on a race day, you need to bring your race number with you or at least identification so you can pick up your number on race day. Then there's also nutrition. So on race day, you wanna be able to practice with what you've been using so far in your training. So having a race each week, a 5K race each week means that you can practice what nutrition you'll be using on race day. On park runs, you're not gonna get nutrition given to you. Well, it's highly unlikely that you will anyway. So practice carrying your nutrition, bringing your nutrition with you. Even if you don't use it for the 5K, if you're training for some longer race, you can practice carrying the nutrition so you know what it feels like to have it on you across a 5K stretch. This also helps in your preparation for the event. So if you've got all your gear that you know you're going to need for the race, you can lay that out the night before the race. And if you've done park runs each week, then you know what you need to lay out. It just makes it all so much easier. Another great thing about Parkrun is that it is a group start. So you're starting with everyone else in one big group behind a starting line. And picking your place in the group is tough. I mean, do you start at the back and have to overtake everyone? Or do you start at the front and possibly be overtaken by everyone? Going to a Parkrun each week lets you figure out where amongst a pack would you typically sit? So if you're 
going to a race day and there's a group start, practicing this at park run is a great opportunity. Most typical park runs have all sorts of runners. So you've got your really fast runners all the way down to your walkers, people with prams, people with dogs, all that sort of thing. So finding your place within all of the representation of the runners that will be there on course on the day this allows you to practice that and talking about the idea of overtaking and being overtaken being in a group start allows you to practice that practice your spatial awareness you're going to have runners in front of you behind you to your left to your right so if you want to overtake how do you do that so you'll be able to use the park run to practice your sighting make sure that you're not going to run into anyone and then do the actual overtake safely and then make sure that you're far enough in front of the person that you've just overtaken that you can look back and safely get back into position because of course most park runs are a loop so they go there and back again where I do park run we actually do a three loop course so we go there back again there back again and there and back again again so you have to make sure that you stay within a small space you can't spread out across the entire walkway remember if you are overtaking people in a race you want to do it safely make sure that you look is someone faster than you about to overtake you if so let them overtake you first and then you can overtake the person in front of you you make sure that you don't slow down in front of other people that you don't stop other people from making forward progress in the course overtake safely every time another great benefit of park run in preparing you for race day is that it is a set defined course with timing so you can practice the whole idea of running to a set course following a set course and having a timed finish one of the great benefits of the timed finish as well is that that's tracked against your park run id so you can actually track your progress in running that course over time and a fun one so park run allows you to practice for race day your photo face so there will most likely be a photographer or someone taking photos or videos at your park run as long as someone has volunteered to do so and so this gives you practice on how do you want to look in your race day photos if you can spot that photographer in the distance then you know that a, photo that a photograph is going to come up at some point very soon so how do you pose how do you smile if you are running and look like you've been punched in the face then you're not likely to share that photo on social media or with other people. But if you can, you know, give a nice happy smile, look like you're going strong, even though you're feeling inside like you just want to walk, then that's great. You can get practice in doing that. Or if you want to make it even more fun, you can do something somewhat silly in the photo. So do a jump, do wave, do one of these, stick your tongue out it's up to you how you want to look in your race day photos but practicing how you look in race day photos during your weekly park run will make it so that your marathon photo or whatever big event photo you've got coming up looks amazing something else i find park run really useful for, useful for is practicing my negative splits so the sprint to the finish line most park runs will have some sort of a finish shoot so when you get to that point when you know that you've only got a few hundred meters left to run you can get rid of that last little burst of energy and finish a little bit faster if that's something you want to do if you want to take your time in the finish shoot that's perfectly fine as well then on race day this sort of thing will just come naturally to you do you have a local park run let us know in the comments section down below check out my previous video about how to use race day adrenaline to give you a boost down the finish line which is also the video that I made on my very first ever park run. I'll leave a link up here. If you want triathlon content every week from here in Australia, then hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Cheerio.